All right, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to review the rigid 18 volt cordless 170 watt power inverter kit with a two amp hour battery and charger. And uh, basically here's the unit on the uh, Home Depot site. Uh, let me click on it. So you use the rigid 18 volt batteries and it turns it into kind of like a battery bank. So you can plug in a, uh, an AC item like a lamp or something, or even a charger that doesn't require that much power. Or um, you got a couple of uh, ports here. looks like USB-A. We're gonna take a look at it because I have it in the box right here. And it's uh, currently on sale, special buy for $89, normally 208, 208. I don't know if I'd spend 208 bucks for this. Anyway, I'm a battery bank junkie. I have lots of backup battery banks and I'll show you in, uh, in a little bit. But here, let's take a quick look uh, what they say. So the product details, um, they say you can use it for laptops, tablets, smartphones, or the small electronics. Uh, 170 watts of continuous power. That's not bad. It might be contingent on the actual battery that you put in it though. Um, it says it has four charging outlets. Um, it's got a USB-C, which is nice. Integrated flashlight. Um, and it's funny, not intended for hair dryers, coffee makers, power tools, refrigerators, compressors. Yeah, because they suck tons of amperage. And uh, you can get the lifetime service agreement, which I'm going to register this as with all my tools. And um, so not bad. Let's uh, take a look and see if there's any more information. Uh, let's see, charge time, 30 minutes, lithium ion, and that's it. So let's look at this unit. And um, so here's the box that it came in. Rigid box. Take a look and see if my camera's getting this. Okay. I'm gonna turn this light on so you can see a wee bit better. Let me take this out of the box. All right. So first thing I want to say about this rigid charger, I have a billion of these. I probably have four of these. Not crazy because they charge the battery slow. I have the other ones, the larger ones, and the dual battery charges. So probably not going to use that with this okay here's the two amp hour battery take that baby out and i'm gonna charge that later i have a couple of batteries with me charged now for demo purposes let's see what this is yeah this is not much on this one bar out of four so we'll charge that later okay and then the inverter okay nice and light and then the, uh, the instruction manual, uh, lots of manuals. All right, so that's, that's the unboxing part. All right, so now let's look at the, uh, the unit while it's out of the box. And uh, we have a uh, 110 volt AC plug. We have two USB A's and one USB C. Um, that's the newest thing, and I believe you can get more power out of that. Uh, let's see, uh, battery slides here, and then we have a flashlight activator and a power activator. So uh, the battery that uh, came with this, of course, it is not charged, one bar, so I have two other batteries. So let's put a, uh, a three amp hour battery in it, rigid. I have probably about 10, 12 rigid batteries. I have a lot of tools, so I have plenty of these. Okay, so that is clicked in. And uh, let's power this baby on. Okay. And uh, flashlight. There we go. Flashlight um, appears to be decent. Okay, so now it's ready to rock and roll. Now, initially, even before I bought this and I was reading about it on the web, what I liked about this compared to my other battery banks is that if the battery dies, you just pull it off and put another one on. And 
I, you know, this is great, especially if you have the larger capacity batteries. This is the four amp hour. They have six and eight and even higher. I only go up to like six, so you can put that on and boom, you can continue using your um, power bank, your battery bank. Now, um, let's quickly compare this to the other ones that I've been using. So I have this little thin one. This is not bad. This is actually, this is a Belkin and I'll have links below in the description, whatever. And uh, this has a couple of USB A ports and a USB C. This I carry in my backpack just about all the time. And then we have, um, I have this anchor that I just got. This is pretty cool. I have a separate review. I'll have a link posted, or if I remember, I'll put a link up over here. I think it pops up there. But um, this is a battery bank that actually, it just has a USB-C in the back and the little lightning cord for iPhone. All right, so, and then I have some slightly larger thing. All right, if I'm serious, you know, with getting some power and when I'm camping, I'll bring this. But this is, a, this is kind of heavy. This is about eight pounds. It will fit in my backpack, but um, yeah, you all have something like this or this. All right, and I also have this. This is a Jackery 100 Plus, and uh, this is kind of like in between everything I've showed you. It's got a, a decent panel, although it's really hard to see outside in daylight, but it shows you the uh, input and output and the charge level. Um, it's got two USB-C in and outs and a USB-A. For some reason, doesn't have a flashlight. And uh, yeah, not too bad. That's about it. Now with my tools, definitely going to have this with all my other rigid tools. I have, you know, pretty large toolboxes that I keep all my tools in. So just adding this part only to my toolbox is negligible. And now I have something to plug in my phone to charge or GoPro if I'm doing you know, shoot at a job site and I can plug in any of my batteries. So very, very cool. Um, let's see how the USB A's go in and out. Nice and smooth. All right, let's do a USB C injection. Pretty firm. Okay, put this on. I don't know, I think it has a cooling fan in here or either that, they're just cooling ports. Uh, what I can do is just plug something in it and stress it and see what happens. I'm going to plug my iPhone in. Definitely needs charging. So let's see what happens here. All right. Low battery warning. Okay. Let's see. All right. It's got the charge lightning bolt here. Oh, you can't see here. Apologize for the yellowish video on a webcam. It's kind of kind of hard to sort out the color stuff with that um, all right so it is charging and uh, I'm choosing my four amp hour battery and um, let's see got four bars on this I'll probably char probably charge this for the next few hours and see how long it takes so it's 735 now p.m. I'm gonna check in and uh, Maybe another hour or so. I'm going to see how fast it takes the 80% mark. Because usually when a phone or something has a lithium ion battery charges, it starts throttling it at about 80%, slows it down. This way the battery doesn't overheat or burst into flames. All right. So from 80 to 100, the slow, uh, the charge will take a lot longer. So let's see how fast this will take to get my iPhone at 80% and then 100% and we'll check back in. All right, so I'm back. I actually went to watch a movie, forgot about the charging, but it's been about an hour and 20 minutes and we're at 97%.
I don't know if you can see that. Show any of the camera. All right, so much. Anyway, so it uh, almost fully charged my iPhone. It would the iPhone started at twenty percent, and um, so yeah, there we go. Let me pull this out. Last last uh, comments on this. All right, I think I'm going to use this a lot. It's going to stay in my toolkits no matter which bag I take with me um, I don't have to worry about knocking around any of my other ones like this or this or this um, and it's nice because I can keep using it with different batteries like I said before I have like 10 11 12 of these rigid batteries so um, yeah, all in all, I think it's a great deal at the price that I showed you. I think it was 89 plus tax and, and maybe shipping. So there you go. If any of you out there have any comments or you have this unit or just want to uh, share some thoughts, feel free. Appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video.